Right, we're the Hebrew Israelites. Come out here week in, week out. Prophesied a downfall of this wicked kingdom. NATO and the EU. First of all, well, it's run by uh, Esau, so called white man. I just want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Hashem, Yahweh. All praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh. Praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Akintis word. The sincere in truth. Blessings to the elect and the one third priest to be saved. But we endure all things for the elect's sake. It's all about them, man. All right? And, and basically, this Bible is just for them, really. Because two thirds of our people are not going to make it. All right? And one reason why I'm not going to make it, because they don't like to be corrected, man. Now read that. It says, this is Isaiah 58 and 1. Yep. It says, cry aloud. So we're not supposed to um, speak like church mice. We're supposed to cry aloud. Some brothers' voices are louder than others, man. Like this brother here. Continue. Spare not. You're not supposed to spare your feelings. Especially, especially our enemies, man. Continue. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right. And shoot my people with their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. There you go. House of Jacob their sins. Get first John 3 and 4. So that's our mission statement. All right? Every time we come out here. And when you're in this truth, you always gotta go back to that mission statement, man. Sparing not. Even if you're doing videos, man. Don't spare anyone's feelings. You gotta be um, clever about it, because Esau is trying to control the internet. Like um there's a new law coming in in America called uh, net neutrality. Yep. Where the providers of the internet, they can screen content. And um, what's the word, what's the word they use it? They can um, ban it or, you know what I mean? They basically have control on whether it goes out or not. So that is one step closer to the end of this kingdom. Because at the end of the day, the Bible said knowledge will increase in the last days. Continue. This is First John 3 and 4. Right? That's true. Whosoever committeth sin, transgressive also the law. That's right. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. Get Leviticus 26 and 46. All right? So a lot of our people don't even know that, man. When you ask them what is sin, well, one day when a man meets a woman and a woman meets a man and they do all kinds of go around it, but they don't know the biblical answer. That is the answer what sin is. A transgression, a breaking of the law. We all have laws to follow, man. Yep. I, uh, I was watching um, GMS San Francisco, brothers there. I did a, a video on Gad. And what you had Edomites, white people, on bikes naked, man, in the middle of the day while they were doing camp. All right? And they were uh, grieved in the spirit. And that's how we should be grieved in the spirit, man. That's why you got to take this truth very seriously. Because we're the underdogs. All right? Okay. So Leviticus chapter 26 verse 46. So Leviticus chapter 26 verse 46. And it says, these are the state, state statutes. statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel. Uh, between him and the children of Israel. Not the Edomites, like them two devils that were up here, not the Elamites, a uh, 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 curry muncher, all right? The children of Israel, all right? Any more? Right. In Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. No, oh, by the hand of Moses. So that's what sin is, man. Now, today we're going to talk about a lot of things about in this truth. Get yeah, Ezekiel 9 and 4, because a lot of people in Great Millstone, but we don't really look at IUIC or GLCC. They come out with some good information, but they ain't got the 100% truth. We do, man, from the apostles on down. And our elders, and other buildings, High Priest Aria, Lord willing, he'll come back in his right mind. All right, we, we have the truth. You don't need to look for religions anymore. So once you have the truth, it's precious. Like this white woman said um, on a video on YouTube, she broke down Deuteronomy 28 and basically showed the pyramid on the back of the dollar bill. The Lord will say to Egypt to get in ships. And what she said at the end of it, she goes, I'm trying to wake them up to show a great heritage they have and I would give my right arm to be one of uh, God's chosen people. That's what Edomite said. And when she said that, I knew she was an Edomite. All right, because you Israelites don't regard being um, Israelites, man. 
you want to be a, a Jamaican, you want to be a Nigerian, you want to be a Ghana man, a Sierra Leonean, all these bywords that your enemy put upon you, man, that's why this truth is precious. And you got to treat it as such. All right? This is Ezekiel 9 and 4. And this is a symbol of the people that are going to be a part of that lens. Because even recently, there are these cases of transgenderism, gender neutral toilets, 100% sickening, man. It grieves my spirit. So Lord willing, the Lord will give us a mark of exemption because we're not down with Esau and his wicked Babylonian system, man. And the pleasures that are therein. Continue. This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And it says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. No. Through the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a people, it's a place, but it's a people of a place. Us. The Twelve tribes. Continue. Set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And how do you know what is an abomination? By the law, man. You know? That's why one scripture says, um, being ignorant of God's righteousness, ignorant means not to know, they establish their own righteousness. That's what a lot of you Israelites do, man. Oh, um, only God can judge me. What, what other things do these niggas say, man, as excuses for their sins? You can't judge me, you know? Yeah, I'm doing okay, you know? I know I've got four kids with different men, but I think I'm a good woman. All kinds of madness, but they're establishing their own righteousness <coughs> rather than the law, statutes, and commandments, which is the ultimate, it's the only righteousness, man. Oh. You know? See? That's right, brother. To the others, he said in mine hearing, yep. go ye after him through the city and smite. And back then, this was the angel of the Lord, man. So the Lord said, go into the midst of you Israelites, set a mark. Now the word mark in Hebrew, in that, um, in that verse is Fawa. I was watching it the other day when Apostle Taha was breaking it down, which means to be exempt from judgment. Thank you. To be exempt from judgment, you ain't supposed to be with this society and everything it promotes. Because it promotes wickedness, man. And then yesterday I was watching a, an advert, it's a blooper advert, and it had an Israelite woman on there crying, and she's in a disco hall, and she's oh. crying, and she goes like this. Some proud spirit starts <laughs> dancing like that. And it's got some old um, Detroit Motown music in the background. What's it doing this? And when I watched it, man, I shook my head, man, at how coonish mm. you Israelites are, man. How much did she get paid for that advert? Maybe 250 pounds, 500, a grand. And she was there to chuck and jive for her slave master, man. Yep. That's very, I've very, seen that, brother. And that grieves me, man. I've seen that ad. Right? A normal average nigger, that, that's okay with them. But it grieved me to see my people cooning on the TV, <coughs> man. All right? So that's the mark of judgment. You're only going to get that mark of judgment if you ain't with the things in the society, man. All right? Any more on that? And to the others, he said in my hearing, mm -hmm. go ye after him yep. through the city and smite. All right? Read that bit again. Read it a bit louder. And to the others, he said in my hearing, yep. go ye after him yep. through the city and smite. Continue. Let not your eye spare neither. There you go. Pity. No pity, man. The Lord said, just kill him. Continue. Slay utterly old and young. Old and young, man. I thought God was all love. No partiality. God is love, my friend. No partiality. Give your life to Christ now. He love you. <laughs> Read that bit again, man. Slay utterly old and young. Is slaying someone utterly old and young, is that love or is that hate? That's hatred, man. But it's righteous hatred. You know? Righteous indignation. Righteous anger. And the Lord had it against our people because they're being wicked, like they're being wicked now. Continue. Both maids and little children. Both maids and little children, man. What springs to mind? Haiti. Uh, uh, Sierra Leone. When you niggas were chopping each other's hands off, man. No. Little girls, man. They had one girl called Memuna. My cousin's name is Memuna. <laughs> By birth, but we recently we found out, my dad told me, that her dad was a Somalian and wasn't my uncle's child, but they've hid it from him. See, that's the kind of wickedness that goes on in you niggas, man. True, bro. niggas' neighborhood, man. And she doesn't know, but she's fat, she's family, genetically. I'll still treat her as such. And there's no point in telling her, because that's going to destroy her. But when I look at it, yeah, she does look like a Somalian Hamite, man. <laughs> 
continue. Very utterly old and young. Yep. Both maids and little children there, and women. There you go, but you niggas ain't got maids anyway, man. <laughs> you barely got two pennies to rub together, man. But back then, you had maids. You were of a high, you are the top people on the earth. Look at you now, man. So the Lord said, what? Stay utterly old and young. Did you? Stay, stay utterly old and young. Both maids and little children yes. and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. There you go. And that mark is a mark exempt from judgment. Now let's go to Revelation 13 and 16, man. Part of this truth is to tell the truth, man. And we're going to tell you the truth that the mark of the beast is the microchip, man. You know? Oh, has anyone got oyster card? You got oyster card? No. Oyster card? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. You, yeah. you bring something like you. Man. Just want to emphasize something, yeah. But we have to warn our people about this, man. This is a serious thing. And that's so... It's another... It's just another example of how wicked you niggas are, man. To have the truth... It's this one, isn't it? To have the truth and then start lying, man. Right? Now, we're in London, England. You have something called an Oyster card, right? And that is to use on the trams, the buses, the um, underground, which is America equal subways, and the overground, which is trains, man. Now, you know, you're not allowed to have any cash whatsoever. It, even if I had 100 pounds, I said, listen, I want to get home. You know, um, the bus ride is only half an hour, but I ain't got no um, Oyster card. But I've got 100 pounds cash. They won't do it. They Thank you. It. Thank you, we appreciate that. That's nice. Yeah? Thank you. See, and them Edomites had the, um, uh, what's it called? Courtesy of when they went past to yeah. lower their hands yeah, yeah. so they don't get filmed. Unlike you niggas, man. You niggas wouldn't have done that. No way. You niggas come up in our faces. Even women, man. I was watching that video the other day with those three jackals that surrounded the brother over here in Peckham, man. No mark of judgment. They're going to have a mark. But they're going to have a mark where the, eight, the angels, and the angel of death really is the white man. Wow. To slaughter women like that, man. And we're going to have a nice smile on our face regardless of where we are. Even if we're locked in a concentration camp. And if you kill us, you're doing us a favor. That's we ain't got nothing to lose, man. <laughs> we're, yeah, exactly. We're men on the edge. <laughs> oh, do you remember that film, Michael Douglas, Falling Down? We're like him, man. When he was saying, uh, uh, he went to a McDonald's or whatever, and the pictures all big burgers, and when they gave it to him, it's some flat tire. And he was saying how corrupt the society is. That's a good film to watch, man. You gotta be almost in that spirit where he sees everything is just wicked, man. And that's what we see. This place is wicked. But that scripture? No, no, 13 and 16. Yeah. So we're gonna read what the mark of the beast is, man. That this oyster card has got a chip called an RFID chip, and then when you scan it, you just drop it like that, like credit card. That's got the mark, so-called mark of the beast. It's not so-called. Got the mark of the beast in there. Contactless technology. That's why they want you to use Apple Pay. They want you to use biometrics in McDonald's. Pan the camera to the McDonald's over there. Over there, McDonald's over there. They got panels now, man. Yeah. Where you can go in there and order your food, tap your card, and go collect the food. Self serve. So they're getting used to this B system, man. All right? The water, up, up. You know? See, we're not ignorant to his devices, man. You think? This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. 13, verse 16, right? And it says, He causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, rich and poor, free and bond, yep. to receive a mark in their, their right hand or in their foreheads. A right mark in the right hand in their foreheads. Now that word mark in the Greek is what? Karagma, which means an incision. Like a, a stake. Alright? So that's totally different from Ezekiel 9 and 4. But you got a, a panic camera to this demon, man. That's how you know Edomites you know, you know, are finished, man. Here he is. His people are ruling the planet Earth. And he's homeless in King's And he's suffering. And he's suffering. And he's suffering, you know? And I notice when these people are homeless, they ask blacks for money. Because they know we're more generous, man. Their people don't care about them. 
Esau's wicked to his own, man. And that's one of his devices, this mark of the beast. Thank you, brother. Right? See? Because if all both small and great, right? Rich and poor. So all you niggas in the entertainment industry that bend over and take up the us, you're gonna have to take this. Continue. Free and bond. Right? Receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. When it says free or bond, whether you're free, so-called free like us, or you're in prison, you know, or in detention, or mental health institution. You're gonna have to take them up. See? That no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark See, now, the name of the beast. Now doesn't that make more sense that it's a RFID chip? And if you don't have it in your right hand, you won't be able to pay for things. Scan it, boom. So that's the reason why they're doing that in McDonald's. Uh, what else are they All these shops using a mobile phone to pay. So it's called a talentarian tiptoe to get you used to that system. All right, any more on that? Well, the number of his name. All right, see him? There is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count yep. the number of the beast. Yep. For it is the number of... I was supposed to have your gloves on, boss. Makes it hard to man, to the pages. Uh, man, and, and his number is six hundred three score and six. There you go, three hundred three score six. Which is what six six six. And that number is everywhere, man. But when you look at World War Two, World War Two started in nineteen thirty nine, ended in nineteen forty five. Six years. How many people did Hitler get into the workplace when Germany recovered from the depression? Six million. How many Jewish people? Did they say died in the concentration camps by gassing? Six million. Six, six, six. Yeah, 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 yeah. Second Corinthians 2 and 11. See, because we know this devil, man, and his devices. And that's why this truth is precious. The ones of you that are in this truth, that think you're going to lollygag, you're going to uh, treat it like a, 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 a normal job when Esau's <laughs> over you, all right? Half-hearted, lukewarm, you want to stay in the same place, don't want to grow? The Lord is going to get rid of you, man. There's, there's another art, oh, like a, a scripture, I can't remember it. Uh, every plant that my father's not planted. So I'll be moving up. You know that one, eh? Pull it out for me, bump the shot. It's 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. All right, read louder, eh? It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us. Yep. We are not ignorant of his devices. There you go. We're not ignorant of his devices. Okay, Revelation 2 and 9. We're not ignorant of his devices. All right? And one of his devices is that mark of the beast, man. And a guy like this, he should just take it. Because at least if he takes it, he'll get a free meal. Right now, he can't get a free meal, man. And that shows you that the earth is giving it to handle the wicked. Because every nation looks after their own people first, man. The only people that don't do that is you uh, bird brain blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Treat people like him better than your own people, man. And after all that the, um, the, this man has done to Gad, especially, you've got Gadites, Uncle Tomahawks, loving this guy, man. It's in Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. Right? It says, I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich. So he said, I know thy works, tribulation, and poverty. So the Israelites are in poverty. So that excludes the so called Jewish people. They're the richest people in the earth. Their 13 banking families own 92% of all the world's wealth. So it can't be them. Continue. I know the blasphemy of them who say they are Jews. Blasphemy, a filthy lie. Who say they are Jews? Who's saying they're Jews in 2018, man? It definitely ain't you niggas. Well, they're starting to. But it's the Jewish people, do you? I know the blasphemy of them yep. that say they are Jews. Yep. And are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. There you go, the synagogue of Satan. The word synagogue means what? Chief house. So when Satan wants to do wickedness, he uses them chiefly, man. <laughs> yeah, it is true. I like they're, that. And they're chiefly tenants in wickedness. Uh, pornography is run by them. The education system is run by them, which is bullshit. Banks are run by them. All right? They run everything, man. See? 
Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. There you go, it says, Fear none of those things thou shalt suffer. That means we're going to start suffering, man. And brothers are suffering already, man. Many different things. Some people like might have sickness like me. This brother at one time, homeless, right? At one time. He went he never had a place to stay, man. But uh, other brothers been kicked out of their house. Family got on them. Sickness, poverty. You know, so we're suffering already. Yeah, I've got sickle cell. So we're suffering already, man. But the Lord said we'll suffer like this. Continue. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. The devil shall cast you into prison. And he's done that. He did that, what, four months ago? When we was over there in Peckham, man. All because of some um, uh, 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 Irish leprechaun, man. He didn't like what we're saying. Yeah, and she lied. Where's my Jesus? What are you doing, my Jesus? You know? So that prophecy has been fulfilled for us. But that's what this truth is about. Going through hardness, difficulty, um, that furnace of affliction. Yeah. Right? If you don't want to get afflicted, uh, or you know, you just want to be a, 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 a nigger, just, just go, man. Just go and be a nigger, man. We ain't got time for niggas. Continue. You may be tried, but you shall have tribulation in 10 days. Yep, and 10, uh, uh, 10 days mean an extended period of time. Those are actually mean 10 so called days. Yeah. Right? It's the clock. Day yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Day two. That's why you need teachers to break things down to you, man. Continue. You go faithful unto them. Yep. And I will give thee a crown of life. Here you go. Be thou faithful unto death. And I will give you a crown of life. And your house is going to give us those crowns. Alright? So a big part of this truth, alright, is to, what? Endure hardness, man. That's one of them. And it comes in various forms. Now get Matthew uh, 15 and 13. The ones of you that think you're going to be able to do what you want to do, at your pace, at your time, all right? You're not gonna be, I was gonna say that, when we was gonna do that camp on location thing. Has anyone brought anything to add to it? Or anything like that? When we do sit down, this, this brother adds, this brother brings his, what's it, a, a tablet, is it? Tablet, yeah. Tablet and stuff. You can see that this guy's prepared. Always when we do sit downs, man. I was gonna say, how many of you in the camp brought anything to contribute, man? I guarantee you on that day, or maybe one, one or two will put their hand up, the rest are not. Get it in your head, man. If you want to be like that, go that way, man. But we have to be diligent in this thing, man. All right? What's the point in suffering in vain? You suffer all your life, then, because you want to do things your way, or in your time, the Lord bugs you out, like he's done already. We've seen it, man. One minute, one guy's diligent and thinking of things we can do, and this book and that book, the next minute, they're more or less not doing nothing, man. They're um, into women and they're listening to the same, yeah, yeah, nigger music and, 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 and just, what has this world got to offer that's so good, man? But that's why it's, you have to fear the Lord. Part of fearing the Lord is to um, grow in this truth, is to um, uh, be reprimanded, be corrected, all right? And to show initiative. That's what my point was on that day, but we ain't done it, but soon, we're going to do the camp on location thing because things in this country were built by us, but they're hiding it, man. All right? Any more no? This is Matthew chapter 15, verse 13. Yep. And it says, But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father have not planted yep. shall be rooted up. Actually, you know what? Go a few verses upwards. Yeah. Upper verses. man which is a big problem our women could not do a silent woman is a blessing man I've yet to I've yet to see one not not in our nation anyway that's why Jake has got Edomite women man and they just do as they're told especially when they're 
in awe of Jake. Big, strong, six foot two, you know, looking down. Right. Yeah. Then came his disciples, right? And so on to him. Yep. How is told that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? Yep. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted up. Yeah, and you see, you notice that they were talking about the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, because you had righteous ones, man, like Nicodemus. And then he said that, every plant, read that bit, verse again. Plant, verse. He answered and said, every plant which it, my yeah. heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. There you go, man. And we've seen plants get rooted up, man. And you know what? It's nothing to boast or brag about. It should give you fear. That's the main thing it should give you. Get yeah, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. That's where it should give you fear, man. All right? Because look. You might have a certain scenario or situation like me or anyone else or whatever, but at the end of the day, this truth comes first, man. The Bible said you'll know them by their fruits, right? All right? It says, in the hardest is a good soldier. A soldier goes through what? War? It might, like in World War II, there was a time where the Germans never had no food for weeks, months. Like, if they get one egg, right, they'll fry it and they'll cut it in like four pieces. And that's their dinner, man. That's their breakfast and that's their lunch. That's it. You know? Same with the soldiers. The Nazi soldiers were given amphetamines to stay awake. You know? Soldier goes through hardship. Right now, things are hard for us. We've got curses on us. Yeah. But it's nothing compared to what's coming, man. That's why you've got to do things in this time. Thank you, brother. While you have time, Thank man. you, brother. Thank you. Because believe me, when the judgment comes, it'll come like a flood, man. Oh, no. You know? They'll be like madmen sparing none. That's right! You know? So that's why you can't uh, 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 lollygag. You've got to be diligent this thing. Didn't you? This is Proverbs 1 and 7. Yep. And it says, the fear of the Lord Water. is the beginning of knowledge. There you go. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And that fear is going to really make you change man you know now there's obviously going to be certain things that you know brothers are struggling at but there should be a change yeah and you know a growth that people can see in your actions you're not supposed to be an Israelite just on Saturday and Sunday man be a nigger Monday to Friday just be a nigger and then pick the Bible up on a Saturday man like this guy what's this guy turkey guy Yara Dunn Bringing women over, let them twerk. In front, yeah, in front of the, showing off. Yeah, showing off. Yeah. Doesn't the Bible say there'll be no whores? Or the daughter of Israel? You know? This wickedness, but the reason why he did that, because he didn't fear the Lord, man. Okay? Yeah, man. Read it. Sorry, go on. Well, fools despise wisdom and instruction. There you go. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. You know? Uh, and that's the reason why a lot of our people get beaten up by the cops. Yeah. Why they get sacked from jobs? Because they don't take instructions, man. You know? Policemen say to not put your um uh, put your hands out where I can see them, and you'll be like, why do I have to do that? And your pants are sagging. You pull your pants up, and he just shoots you in the head. You know? But you didn't listen to his instructions. <laughs> you need to go. What I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So when you're in this truth, you've got to listen to instructions, man. Yes, brother. Those, are, those of you that think it's a joke, you think that you can do what you want, when you want, you've got an excuse for everything, you're out the door, man. Yeah. All right? Like uh, other people we know, and Lord willing, the Lord will put a, a demon on him so he can become a transvestite, you know? And walk around with high heels and panties on. Man. That's it, bro. You know? That's, that's, that's a... Because, you know what? You can kill someone, the Lord can put it to death, but it's how you do it. The Lord is uh, um, like meticulous about that, man. He could do that. So all you, all, especially last four or five months, man, loads of people in Great Millstone have been falling out, and then some of them continue to do the work and that, but then they don't give double honors. See, again, man, without them, you would have known anything. I'm telling you, brother. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah? They're just ungrateful. They're wicked. You know? That's the problem with our people, man. Yeah, get, um, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. 
Oh, can I bring out a scripture? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. You know, serving the most side too, right? Wow. You, have, you, you have to do it in love, and you, should, you, have, you have to enjoy doing it, yeah? That's because right, if yeah. you're serving the most side, you should have a bird. I'm going to bring out a scripture yeah. on that now. Oh, that's true. Jeremiah um, 23, 30 to 34, yeah? Oh. And when this, the people, or the prophet, or the priest shall ask thy, thee, saying, what is the burden of the Lord, Yahweh? Yeah? Oh. That's a question, yeah? Yeah. Thou shalt then say unto them, what burden? I will even forsake you, saith the Lord. Verse 34. And as for the prophet and the priest and the people that, that shall say the burden of the, our Lord, I will even punish that man and their house. Their house. Their house. Oh man. Right? Go. So go. when you serve the most high, you know, we do things to the best of our ability, but yeah. we shouldn't make it a burden upon ourselves. Yeah. We must try to do it. Yeah, you know what I mean? With fun, in, you know, enjoyment. I yeah. know it's, it's going to be hard, yeah. but don't have that burden. Yeah, yeah, like it's a, like, yeah, like a chore. Yeah, we've yeah? seen, we've seen that recently, man. You can see that um, uh, one person put a, on, on a comic board, say so he doesn't want to be there, and you can see it. The guys that end up falling out, you can see after a while that they, yeah, they come, they don't come. Um, they, they, there's always an excuse. They're inconsistent. And then they end up getting bugged out, man. And they're worse than they ever was before. You know, seven more demons, right? That's it. Yeah, seven more demons. So this is a serious thing, man. All right, all right, we go. This is Isaiah 30 and 1. Yep. And it says, Woe to the rebellious children, save the Lord. Yep. That take counsel, but not of me. And, and look, the Lord can take counsel and he uses the oracles of God to Bible. Wow, wow. And we're here to teach you, but Oh, there was one sit down where you, uh, uh, Shan said it. He said, the problem with our people, they hate themselves. Therefore, they hate God. Therefore, they hate his son. You know, therefore, they don't listen. So die. And that's, it's true. What do you do? You've got to kill those people, man. Right, okay, Steve? That cover with their covering, but not of my spirit. That's right. They may add sin to sin. And sin, that's what the word iniquity means. Sin upon sin, which yeah. is willfully doing something, man. Yes. Well, you might have something that is a struggle. Yeah. And you're trying, but you fall for it. But you pray to the Lord. You know, believe me, man. A lot of brothers had issues and um, bad habits, and the Lord took it off us, man. You know, brothers might have been uh, uh, liars before. You know, lying a lot, addicted to pornography. But we still have flesh. We decide uh, to go off. We decide to go off. Of course, you know. But when you come into this, the Lord cleans you up, man. Right. You know? But you gotta seek him diligently, man. You know? There it is, you're just seeking him when you need something. Uh, not knock me again, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, see? Who to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. And look, we're in captivity. The Bible said you go to your enemies for the want of all things. <laughs> so we have to go to our enemies for one of all things. But at the end of the day, you still have to put the Heavenly Father first, man. Thank you, brother. Listen, the Lord, listen, you can't, you can hide something from man. I can ask you, did you do that? Oh yeah, I did it, don't worry, yeah, brother. I did it, I just didn't bring it today. Don't worry, I've done it. But look, all right, you might fool me, but you can't fool the Lord. Thank you. He sees everything, man, you know? A thousand times brighter than the sun. A thousand times brighter than the sun. You can bring that out if you want, you know, silly. To trust in the shadow of Egypt. That's it. Like when Hercules Trina had 